Hi guys, how you doing? This is Lucia. Uh, so I wanted to make this video because, gosh, I am feeling the worst anxiety I have ever felt in my life. I don't, I don't recall ever feeling this way ever. Uh, yesterday, I, I could feel my heart beating, you know, weird. It was weird. It was heavy, it was strange every time I think about coming to work. I stay there, it's it's like, I I tell you, it's the weirdest thing. And it's, uh, it's more weird because rationally, I know that I shouldn't be worrying about nothing because I'm leaving. Uh, but I... I just can't stay where I'm at. I have this thing that I absorb people's energies and I, I, I am like a sponge. I sponge. It's like, and the people, there's, I mean, no, not the people. There's like five people where I'm sitting. Three of them I like. One I like, I feel very uncomfortable. And the big boss, I just, I, I can't, I can't hear his voice, I can't see him, I was always like this, but because he was in another uh, space, you know, the area was different, I was, I was okay, but the, the days that he was there, it's, it's a heaviness, I don't know what it is, it's something, I tell you, I am feeling really anxious, it's, it's, it's like my heart, my heart races, or my heart, it, it doesn't race. It's, it's, it's like I feel the heart. I feel that heaviness in my chest. And uh, my ex-husband was here. It was my daughter's graduation on Wednesday. So he was here for, for five days. And of course, he managed a way to uh, be rude to me and, and say some, some things. It wasn't that bad, but I have PTSD. And it just, it brings it up, you know. So I have my mom, and I have him, and I have... <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. I mean, because I am one person that has all together. So I thought I had all together. And right now, I am feeling this way. And, uh... I mean, it's a, it's a lot in my mind. It's, it's the move, you know, going to San Diego and having to pack I hate that part and I have to go and you know try to collect boxes and stuff all I know is that I'm not feeling myself I can't focus I can't read more than something more than five I can't watch your videos I I start watching the video my mind wanders and I can't focus on anything I can't really watch a movie I can't focus on even playing on my iPad some games. It's the weirdest thing. I am feeling so not myself. I am feeling so not in control. I, I'm doing breathing exercises. I am meditating and that's what's bringing me back to normal. But it's, uh, it's been a challenge. And of course, this weekend, I, not the whole week, but I had some emotional eating. Definitely, I did. And uh, I don't know, it's just, it's a single mom thing also, you know, my daughter, my daughter was crying when her dad left, you know, and every time he leaves when he's here. I feel guilty in some way because I, I brought her to another country. But I know that was the best option because being apart from him, I don't expose her to a lot of his temper. He is a sweet, lovely person in one hand and he has a horrible temper and could be very hurtful in others. So by us coming here, she has more contact with his sweet and nice and great father side. So it was good, but I can't stop feeling that thing. And then she was all uh, 
upset. And I, I, she doesn't talk to me anymore. She's a teenager, so she used to open up with everything. Now she doesn't. I have no idea what goes on with her. And then she treats me badly. So the, there's me and my mom fighting. And then there's my daughter and I. We're not fighting as my mom and I, but, you know, she she just lashes, you know. So it's like I'm having a very hard time keeping my cool. And this anxiety thing, it's, it's the worst feeling ever. I can't breathe. It's weird. I've been, I mean, I've been drinking. That's a statement that's not correct. But I, since I've, I went to Vegas and I drank there, you know, I drink a couple of times. Uh, I drank a couple of times. I think I went out to drink like twice since Vegas. It's not a lot. But to someone who never drinks, that's weird. Right? So... Uh, I'm definitely trying to find comfort on something to uh, calm me down. I took uh, anxiety medication today, and it's an antidepressant. So uh, I'm feeling calmer, but it, it's kind of my brain. I, I don't feel myself. I mean, it's like, uh, I don't know. I am, I have no patience. I have no patience at all these days. I can be calm like this right now and and if something really pisses me off, I'm going to just lose it, you know? And I have a meeting right now with the two people that are doing all the crazy changes and I have to talk to them. And uh and I I I did let them know my feelings about it. Everybody's kind of concerned to express their feelings. I'm expressing to them that I am not happy with the changes they're making. And I have a meeting with them right now to uh, train them to do what I do. So I used to be in the front office uh, talking to everybody, having the volunteers, and uh, having residents walk in. And I mean, I, I've, I'm here for five years. I build a relationship with these people. So some people would come and sit and talk and tell jokes. And now I'm stuck in the back office. I don't see even my coworkers if they don't go there. I don't see anybody if they don't go there. And, uh, and I miss that. I miss being around people. I miss being with them. I miss... I miss everything and so I received this email from these two ladies that want me to train them and they told me that I need to train them to do what I do in the front office so I no longer need to do anything it's sad at least you know to me is a confirmation from God that I'm you know I did the, the right decision to uh, leave I don't know some of you might have watched uh, a video that I made when I was accepted to the PhD program and uh, my prayer is always that it's like if, if it's not gonna be okay if I'm not gonna be you know safe and all I don't want it but if everything's gonna turn out fine please give me this that's usually my prayer for whatever I'm wanting so if I had any doubts you know this is more than confirmation from God that I need to get the hell out of here <laughs> fast fast and the problem is that I don't see support to channel 6 at all I might be wrong but I don't see support for what channel 6 wants anyhow that's that oh guys I'll talk to you guys later I have to go back to work